हेलो बच्चो हाउ आर यू आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यूर फाइन एंड यूर एजुकेशन आर गोइंग वेल वेल ओके सो दिस इज एसे टूडे आई डिस्कस वेरी फंडामेंटल कंसेप्ट दैट इज मोर कंसेप्ट ओके सो वट इज मोर सिंपली यू कैन से मोल इज ए नंबर वट मोल इज ए नंबर सिंपली मोल इज नथिंग मोल इज just a number okay so try to understand we are saying that one rupee okay so one rupee equal to we can say 100 paisa 100 paisa pata hai na okay or we can say one dozen equal to we can say 12 number okay we are going to market and asking give one dozen of bananas means they give 12 number of bananas okay so similarly we can say one mole equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 and that is equal to avogadro's number represented by na okay so try to understand mole is nothing just a number and that equal to this number 6.022 in some textbook you will find 6.023 okay but you should take 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 okay now let's go to the definition of mole okay so mole is defined as the amount of substance that contains as many particles as there are atoms in exactly 12 gram of carbon that means he says that mole is the amount of substance we know what amount okay just mole is the amount of substance and that amount of substance equal to number of particles present in 12 gram of carbon okay that means we can say 12 gram of carbon equal to same 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of atoms okay so once again i am repeating mole is nothing mole is just a number and that equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 okay so question comes why mole is introduced what is the necessity of mole actually what happens molecules are very very small in size that means a pinch of substance you just take a pinch of substance pinch of salt and that contain millions of molecules and really it is not possible to count all the molecules that's why we need a big unit that can measure all the molecules it helps in solving the numericals so mole is introduced to count such a large number of molecules okay so we can write one mole equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 equal to we can say this is equal to 1 gram molecule okay 1 gram molecules or we can say atomicity into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms okay so what is atomicity atomicity is the number of atoms present in a molecule just like we can say n2 n2 means n2 is a molecule in n2 two atoms are present so atomicity of nitrogen is 2 okay. and next equal to atomicity and equal to occupies 22.4 liter at ntp okay So mole equal to 6.022 into 10 to 23. You can say molecules, molecules 
or that is equal to one gram molecule and second equal to atomicity into this number of atoms we can say atomicity into one gram atom or we can say occupies 22.4 liter of any gas at ntp so ntp is a normal temperature and pressure we can say of stp that is also same standard temperature and pressure okay next if i'll say express one mole of oxygen into different forms question is express one mole of one mole of o2 into different forms okay so we know one mole equal to avogadro's number so 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules okay one mole of oxygen equal to this number of molecules and we already said that okay and and that is equal to one gram molecule so one gram molecules means you just count its molecular mass so molecular mass of o2 equal to 32 so it contain 32 gram of oxygen contain 32 gram of oxygen okay and if we try and if it can if you convert to its atoms so what okay if you convert if you convert to atoms so atomicity into avogadro's number of atoms so atomicity of oxygen is 2 because two oxygens are there so 2 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms okay as oxygen is a gas so it equal to 22.4 liter at ntp or you can say stp okay try to understand one mole of oxygen can be expressed in different forms okay first one mole of oxygen equal to this number of molecules that means in one mole 6.022 into 10 to 23 number of molecules are present okay so uh, one mole of oxygen equal to its gram molecular mass so its gram molecular mass is that means molecular mass of oxygen is 32 so it contain 32 gram of oxygen okay so uh, and if we convert to atoms number of atoms so our formula is 2 in atomicity into avogadro's number of atoms so its atomicity is 2 into avogadro's number of atoms that means 6.022 into 10 to 23 atoms as oxygen is a gas so it contain 22.4 liter at ntp or stp okay now let's go to application of mole concept okay our first application is mass of one molecule of a substance okay suppose uh, you have to calculate mass of one molecule of water question is mass of one molecule of h2o okay so we know that one mole of h2o contain avogadro's number of molecules okay and that is equal to its gram molecular mass okay just like we can say this is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules and this is also equal to what is the molecular mass of water 2 plus 16 equal to 18 18 gram of h2o okay that means we can say 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules weigh equal to 18 gram. That means weight of this number of molecules equal to 
18 gram that means 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules equal to 18 gram okay so one molecule equal to 18 divided by 6.022 into 10 to the 23 18 gram divided by this okay so we can say what is 18 gram 18 gram is the gram molecular mass gram molecular mass and what is this this is Avogadro's number Avogadro's number okay so what is the formula we can say mass of one molecule of a substance equal to we can write we can write gram molecular mass Avogadro's number okay our second application is calculation of number of molecules in a given mass of a substance. Okay, suppose there is a question 80 gram of sodium hydroxide contain how many molecules? Okay, you understand what is the question? 80 gram of sodium hydroxide contain how many molecules? Okay, so according to definition of mole or expression of mole, we can write 1 mole of NaOH contain you know Avogadro's number of molecules that is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules okay and this is also equal to its gram molecular mass okay so what is the gram molecular mass of sodium hydroxide sodium is 23 plus 16 plus 1 okay equal to 40 gram so we can say that 40 gram of sodium hydroxide contain 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of molecules okay that means 40 gram of sodium hydroxide contain 6.022 into 10 to the 23 molecules okay so if i will take 1 gram of sodium hydroxide that means 6.022 into 10 to 23 divided by 40 okay so in question 80 gram of sodium hydroxide is present so if i'll take 80 gram of sodium hydroxide what happened 80 will be multi multiplied in the in this okay so 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 40 into 80 this is molecules okay so if you simplify this you will get the answer of this question okay so from this solution we can derive the formula okay so 6.022 in 2023 is known as Avogadro's number so we can write Avogadro's number okay into 80 is the given mass into given mass divided by 40 here 40 is the gram molecular mass of sodium hydroxide so gram molecular mass gram molecular mass okay so 
नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स इन ए गिवन मास सब्सटेंस इक्वल टू वी कैन राइट द फार्मूला आवोगाड्रस नंबर इनटू गिवन मास डिवाइड बाय ग्राम मॉलिक्यूलर मास सो नाउ आई एम गिविंग वन क्वेश्चन एंड एंड द क्वेश्चन इज कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ एटॉम्स इन 6 ग्राम ऑफ मैग्नीशियम ट्राई टू सॉल्व योरसेल्फ एंड राइट द आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स इफ यू आर न्यू इन द चैनल so subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification of next lectures okay so thank you so much see you in the next class